The dollar is soaring and commodity prices are crashing. This video will discuss why these trends are likely to continue and some of the economic and investment implications if they do. The dollar index has shot up to 108, a 20-year high. It's risen 21% over the last 18 months. The average for this index since 1971 has been 97, so it's currently 12% above its post-Bretton Woods average. The dollar hasn't been this strong since October 2002, and as you'll see, it's likely to continue moving higher. The dollar index is a measure of the value of the dollar relative to a basket of six foreign currencies. Here's the composition of the basket. The euro dominates the basket with a 57.6% weighting, followed by the yen at 13.6%, the pound 11.9%, the Canadian dollar 9.1%, the Swedish corona 4.2%, and the Swiss franc 3.6%. So together, the euro and the yen account for 71.2% of the basket. Here's the dollar per euro. At 1.004, the dollar has effectively reached parity with the euro. It hasn't been this strong versus the euro since late 2002. And against the yen, the dollar hasn't been stronger since 1998, 24 years ago. The reason the dollar has moved up so sharply relative to the euro and the yen is very clear. The Fed is tightening monetary policy much more aggressively than the European Central Bank or the Bank of Japan. The ECB has been, and will continue to be, slower to tighten monetary policy than the Fed because Europe is facing a much more challenging economic environment than the U.S., given that Russia's war on Ukraine has driven energy prices radically higher in Europe. The BOJ is reluctant to tighten monetary policy since inflation in Japan remains under control at 2.5% and because Japan has been struggling against deflation for decades.